Welcome back to Educate Africa, where we are keeping culture. My name still remains a Yewa Elega Maleme, simply called a Yewa. Today, I will be taking you down into the topic respect. You see, people think respect is just about greetings. No, respect is more than greetings. Respect goes wide away from greetings to your verbal communication, from your body language, from from the way you you react to to actions or statements or something like that. From people in authority or from your elderly or from your parents. Well we can see that our level of respect by Africans is already fading away. So we need to educate you guys so that we don't lose it. We don't lose it for anything. You see, some people think because they acquire a lot of education or they've moved from one country to another, meaning moving from Africa to Europe, for instance, or also because of civilization. So they think whatever culture they have been doing before is becoming archaic or old school. No, we shouldn't think in that direction. Culture is culture. Do not mix culture with religion or education or civilization. What we should be doing is we should use education, civilization or migration to modify our culture but not to destroy our culture. Yeah, when people talk about, oh, I've moved outside Africa, I've moved to Europe, America, and all of these beautiful places, do you know that these countries do have a culture? If you want to find out, make a research about that. You cannot be in a gathering where the queen is entering that gathering and you are sitting whilst other people are standing. That is disrespectful if you have to sit. And when they stand, it's a sign of respect to the queen. When your boss goes somewhere, when your boss talks to you, when your boss addresses people, you see people standing or clapping in a loud ovation, not because they want to, but because they need to respect that authority. And so what we see today is that Africans are losing respect because we think we've acquired knowledge we've traveled far and wide or we are civilized no i have not seen in chinese or an indian person who will lose their culture i have seen these two group of people and they show respect to elderly to their parents and people in authority africans used to be that way before but now Africans are losing it because they feel they are civilized and what they've been doing is old school. No. Do not let anybody come and give you wrong information telling you what you guys are doing or how you do it. It's wrong. Let me tell you one thing. When the colonial masters came to Africa, they found that the Africans they do respect the elderly and people in authority. So they want to earn themselves respect and they said the Africans should be calling them SAR. S-I-R is not respect here, it's a title. But when they came to Africa, they were asking you guys to call them SAR. And so SAR now became a universal way to respect a male person in authority or in offices or wherever you find them. So if they don't love it, they won't draw your attention that call me or sir. But because everybody loves to be respected. Right. So let me come back to young people. If you disrespect your parents, let me tell you what you're doing. You are losing a genuity of love in your parents. You cannot disrespect your parents because if you do, you are losing the right information. And that's what some of these youth are taking down to schools. And so when you don't respect your parents, you definitely will not respect your teachers. And so when you disrespect your teachers, you are losing the vital information you need to get from them. So we should begin to inculcate this culture back to our children to respect 
everyone in authority, everyone who other than them, and people who seem to be their parents. When we were growing up, we see our teachers as parents. It's like we are leaving our parents to see another parents. So every teacher in the school is like your parents. They are to talk to you. They are to scold you when they need to. But, you know, um, here you see kids telling their child, I'm wrong. That is absolutely wrong. A child don't tell that man, that woman who put food on the table for you, who pay the bills in the house, who takes your house or buy you clothing, and you tell that man, you are grown. Grown from where do you pay the bills? So do not inculcate that habit and bring it back to African homes. It is absolutely wrong. So young Africans begin to learn how to get this culture back in your head and begin to do it rightfully. Don't say my English friends don't do this or my my Italian friend don't do that or my German friend don't do this. We are Africans and so we need to live by our culture. Yeah, people say, oh, why you bow? Why do you bow your head or why do you kneel or why do you prostrate for the elderly? It's your culture. It's, it's a form. Let me tell you some of the things that is keeping marriages today. That's another different topic. But when a white force get married to a black four who really give that white man respect or the white woman respecting the, uh, uh, the, the, the the black woman respecting the white man or the black man respecting the white woman let me tell you what happened their marriages last I'm telling you because they find it interesting like wow I'm being treated like a king and so let me tell you one thing, respect is something that we grew into. When we were growing up, when we were born in Africa, we we had it. We, we grew up in it. So we cannot just throw this thing away because of education, civilization, or, or migration or something like that. No, 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 no. That is absolutely out of order for all Africans. So how do we do this? We all need to come back to our norms and value for culture. We need to start inculcating these things back to our children so that when they grow up, they have to live in it and buy it. We don't want to say, oh, at some point in those days, this is how things were done. See, if respect is not something vital and interesting, if you go on the bus or on the train in England, you will see where they tell you this seat is for priority people who are elderly or people who are disabled. So that's why they have to tell you boldly that respect this group of people. I've seen so many young people, they walk by elderly people struggling to lift things without giving them any courtesy or respect. Please and please and please. Let us come back to our ways and let us come back to our culture. Please, if you love this, please help me share this, my video. Let it go viral. We need to come back to our culture. Let us preserve our culture together as Africans. I know some of my white friends are telling me, oh, we watch your video, we'll listen to you. It is not peculiar to Africans alone. It is peculiar to all. But I cannot speak because I'm not proper English. So I need to speak for what I know best. So please pardon me. This is more my topic as an African. So we all Africans, let us work together and keep our culture. It is very, very vital to still respect people in authority and our elderly. So my name is Thurimin Eua. Please share my video, follow me on our Facebook, on our website, on our YouTube. Just look out for Educate a Freak. Email me on educateafreak at gmail.com or go to our website www.educateafreak.com.
www.ambigu.com. Enjoy the rest of your day and be good. Bye.